I found a new AI-generated product that makes thousands of dollars with very little competition, and no one is talking about it on YouTube yet. So I decided to make this video and show you step-by-step step how to start a similar business in under 60 minutes only using AI. I've been selling AI printables on Etsy for over a year now and I've owned multiple stores on Etsy, Shopify, and Printify, so I know exactly how to make sales when it comes to digital products. We are going to go over a couple of things. First, we'll figure out what style of artwork to sell, what tools to use when creating AI art, and at the end, we'll talk about how to expand your business with physical and digital art in your shops. Ready? Let's get going. If you've been following me for a while, you maybe have an idea on what kind of art is trending and what you should sell. But if you're new, I always recommend taking the time to do the proper research and get some inspiration. The best places for this are Etsy and Pinterest, as they have thousands of examples. To do this, go to Etsy.com, and in this search bar up here, type in wall art. Take your time and figure out what listings are trending right now. If you click on a listing, you can see its demand with this red text, like seven people bought this in the last 24 hours. This is a pretty important metric that you can only get via manual research. You can do this exact research on Pinterest too by typing wall art and browse through the pins. You know what's funny? No, not my voice. Most of these listings lead back to Etsy shops because successful Etsy shops know that Pinterest is a good way to promote your products and designs. As I said, the research is pretty important, and these methods will help you narrow the styles you'd like to focus on for your shop. Whether it's vintage wall art, landscape prints, or maybe minimalist prints, just to name a few successful examples. For this video, I've done my research and found out that Vintage Country Landscape is currently doing well. You can see that this shop, Landscape Prints Italy, has made 700 sales last month with over $8,000 in revenue. If we take a closer look at their shop, we can see that they are only selling vintage and antique style digital prints in their shop. This means that they're not making as much money as they can, because you can't charge too much for printables. Take a look at their prices, $16 for bundle of 30 images. Again here we have $16, $9 and so on. Since we'll be offering both physical and digital version of the product, our revenue potential will be much higher. To get all this information, I'm using a tool called Allura, and you can try it for free via the link below. Just sign in, go to research on the left and select shop analyzer and in this box type in the shop name to get information like total revenue, monthly revenue, best selling items and so on. Here's another shop selling similar printables. They have over 38,000 sales and based on Allura, they've generated more than $150,000 in two years, which is more than $6,000 per month on average. Not bad for a shop like this. Based on these two shops, this is enough for me to confirm that this can be a very profitable niche. Oh, and check this out. When you type in vintage printables on Etsy, you get 14,000 results. This means that the niche is not saturated at all. In order to create your AI-generated vintage printables, we need to use Toll like Midjourney to generate high-quality wall art. Keep in mind that resolution of Midjourney's images is pretty low, and sometimes it produces pixelated finished products, so we'll need to improve the quality. I'll show you how to do it for free later. All of the art that you generate with Midjourney is completely yours to sell, so you don't have to worry about commercial rights. So once you sign up for Midjourney, go to their Discord server, and this is what Midjourney looks like on the inside. You can see what other people are generating, and to be honest, Midjourney has improved quite a lot in the last year. We basically went from unrealistic blobs of color and lines to hyper-realistic portraits. So, to use Midjourney, go to this channel and type in forward slash imagine. Since we are doing vintage style, I'll type in this prompt, imagine countryside field with white wildflowers and a house, acrylic style, landscape, artistic, realistic vintage. You definitely need to work on your prompt writing skills, but once you master it, you can generate wild images like I just did. I simply love Midjourney and it made me thousands of dollars so far, so that's why I recommend it everywhere I go. If you want to learn more about prompts and how to write the perfect prompt, check out my other videos where I go into greater detail with this. And if you want to get inspiration for your prompts, here's how to do it. First click on the upscale button under the image you generated. Once it finishes upscaling, you can see more options under that particular photo. Click on the web button next to heart icon. You can see that it opened a new tab with your photo. And if you scroll down, you can find similar images that other people generated. 
I like this particular image here, and when I click on it, I can find the specific prompt that was used to generate that image right below it. Keep in mind that using other people's images is not allowed, but no one said anything about using their prompts. So if I run that specific prompt in mid-journey, here's what I got. A completely unique image, just for me. Once you're happy with what you got out of mid-journey, save it to your device and we'll go ahead and upscale that image. I'll use this simple and free tool called Media IO Image Upscaler. Just upload your image here and in Editor, select 8x to get it to over 8,000 by 8,000 pixels. Once it's done, just click Download in the lower right corner and you're ready for the next step. I told you that we'll be offering a physical version of this print, and for that, you can charge around $70 to $80 per image. Now don't worry, you will not be creating, packaging, and shipping these prints to customers yourself because this is not 2008 anymore. We have services like Printify that integrate directly with your Etsy shop. So whenever you get a sale on Etsy, Printify gets notified and is able to fulfill that order for you. All you need to do is upload the design on any of the products within Printify's catalog, and they take care of the rest. What's even better is that Printify is completely free to use, and they only charge a production fee after the sale is finalized. Once you downloaded your upscaled image from Upscaling Tool, you just have to upload it to one of Printify's posters or canvases under the Home and Living category. I'll select posters for this demonstration. You can see that some come with frames and some without, since this is like a painting. I'll select the framed horizontal poster. Now just click on Start Designing, and it opens up this artboard where you can drag and drop your upscaled image. Adjust the size so that it fits well in this canvas. Once you're done adjusting, click the Preview button here to see what your wall art looks like in context to the environment. You can even switch the frame colors to walnut, for example. If you're happy, click the Save Product button. On the next screen, you can see that Printify created this default mock-up, title, and description. You can leave it as is, but what I recommend is that you get custom mock-ups to differentiate yourself from other sellers. For this, you can use platform like Creative Market to purchase unique mock-ups. Once you get a bundle, you can open up Photoshop, Canva, or Kittle and add your own design to these templates. Most of these mock-ups come with PSD and JPG files, so it's easy to edit them. You'll also need to customize your title and description so that your listing actually ranks high. If you want me to make a dedicated 15-minute video about Etsy and Printify search engine optimization, please let me know in the comments below. As for the price, set it based on what your competitors are charging for physical art in the same size range. Don't undervalue or overvalue your product so that you can still be competitive to them. If you actually try and undervalue your listing, Etsy can sometimes shadow ban you for some reason, thinking that you're spamming. When you publish your listing to Printify, it will automatically get published to Etsy, if you connected the two platforms, of course. And you can always come back to Printify to edit your listing later. And finally, if you're thinking of offering your art prints as digital products to your customers on Etsy, you'll need to set up a completely new listing. You remember downloading that upscaled file you downloaded? Just use that. When setting up your new Etsy listing, there's a digital option. Pick that, then upload the art print files you're selling. I've been selling my printable wall art as JPEGs, mostly because I saw others doing it. You know those mock-ups you made for your wall art listings? Use them here too, why not? Just take the title, description, and tags and adjust them a bit to make it clear that it's the digital download version. If anything's confusing, drop your questions in the comments. If there's enough interest, I can make a more detailed video tutorial later. If you found this video useful, hit that like button, drop any questions, and click on any of the two videos on the screen right now to continue your money-making journey.